Okay, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get your air print to work on your Konik Minota BizHub copiers. Before I get started, I need to let you know that air print only works on the newer models that end with an E, such as your 224E, 284E, 364E, 454E, and so forth. If your model does not have the E at the end of it, uh, air print will not work. So don't waste your time. Uh, you're just going to be wasting a whole lot of time trying to figure it out, and it's not going to work. AirPrint will show up on the display, but it will not communicate with your devices, your iPhone, iPad, iMac. Uh, so, again, all non-E uh, models uh, will not work. Now, now that we clarified that, um, the AirPrint will work on your all the E series machines. One thing you need to make sure that your firmware is up to date. So if you have, for example, a 654E, 754E, uh, your firmware has to be a G20-H2 or newer. If you have the smaller versions, uh, which is the 224E, 284E, 364E, 454E, 554E, your firmware has to be a G20-J6 or newer. Um, same thing with your BH models, uh, it has to be G20-J6 or newer, okay? Now, once you confirm that you do have the newest firmware, you need to make sure that your soft switch settings are set correctly. Your switch number 25 has to be at hex assignment 60. I know it sounds a little confusing, uh, but uh, hopefully I could clarify that a little easier once we get to into service mode, uh, and I'll show you where to... Uh, make that switch. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screen of the copier. Okay, so now that we're in front of the machine, uh, we need to get into service mode. So there are several ways to do this depending on the model you have and the settings uh, behind it. But in order to get to service mode, you hit menu, counters, display key, hit stop, zero, zero, stop, zero, one. Some machines require you to prompt a password. Uh, for this machine, is nine two seven two four times. So once you're there, you need to get into your soft switch settings, which is uh, system two soft switch settings. Uh, switch twenty five is going to take you. I already have a set at sixty, but if you don't have this, uh, your hex assignment set at sixty, you got to hit. Uh, you have to put that in sixty. Okay, so once we confirm that, let's get out of uh, service mode. Uh, so now, the next thing that's very important on this machine is that you need to go into your network uh, settings and make sure that uh, Apple Talk is turned on as well as Bonjour. So let's get into admin. Okay, so you're going to hit network settings once you're in. You're going to go to Apple Talk setting and make sure this is on on. I already set mine on, so that's why. But if yours is off just like that, make sure you set that on on and hit OK. Um, next thing you're going to do is go back into network settings. You're going to go into Bonjour settings and make sure this one is off. Make sure that thing is on. Okay. Hit OK. Close. Close. All the way till you get to the main. Oops, I went one too far. Let me close that. Once you get to the main. Now, the next step that I'm going to show you is very, very important. You need to log into the interface of the copier uh, to get this feature uh, to turn on both Apple Talk and Bonjour. So let's go back to the computer. Okay, so we're back to my computer. I'm going to go ahead and log into the interface of the machine. Uh, which is very important. This feature is very important, otherwise you're going to be pulling your hair, wondering why it's not working. So we got to log in uh, as uh, admin. So we're going to hit administration. Administrator, I should say. We're going to log in. Okay. Um, wait for this to pop up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go to network. Again, this step is very important, has to be done. Okay, look for Apple Talk settings. I'm sorry, 
let's uh, we're first going to go to Bonjour settings and make sure Bonjour is on. Okay, most likely yours is going to be off. I have mine on because I already set this, but most likely yours is going to be off like that. Make sure it's on, and you hit OK, and wait for that complete message to pop up. Next thing you're going to do is go all the way down to AirPrint settings. Click on that, and make sure your AirPrint setting, and mine is off, make sure that is on, hit OK, and there you have it. So those two have to be on, otherwise your devices will not see it on the network. Now, of course, speaking of network, uh, of course, the copier has to be on your network as well as your uh, Apple device, your iPhone, iPad, iMac, whatever device you're using, it has to be on the network, of course. Um, a lot of people think that it doesn't have to be. That's very important. If it's, if you're not on the same network, uh, it's not going to read it. So anyhow, um, one thing I'm going to check right here real quick is Apple Talk setting that's on. Okay, that this is the feature that we turned on, on on the copier just a while ago. So, I mean, it's good to go in there just to make sure it's on. So it's on. So there you have it. Now, uh, when you go into finding your printer on your device, you should be able to find it. But just in case you don't, um, one... Uh, one thing that I do recommend is uh, turning on AirDrop on your device. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second on your iPhone. Uh, most of the time it does not have to be on uh, when you're using your iPhone, but just in case for whatever reason that you don't, uh, it doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and show you how to turn on your AirDrop in just a second. Okay, here we have an iPhone. Uh, this is not mine. I don't really use iPhones. I'm not an iPhone guy. I'm a Mac guy, but I mean an Android guy, but that's beside the point. But anyhow, in order to turn on your AirDrop, uh, you simply swipe up and you see where it has AirDrop off. You would just click that and uh, you can just put everyone and all of a sudden it, will, it should turn on. Now, it's on. But again, you I don't think you're going to need to do this, but just in case you still can get it to work, try this. And if it works, then all your problems are solved. Anyhow, thank you for watching and um, hope uh, it works for you guys. Take care.